<laughs> Hi, <laughs> welcome to Life in a Bottle, season one, episode twenty nine. Twenty nine. We don't have any fun here ever. Did you know that's my lucky number? By I had no idea. I do now. Huh. I'm Mitch, Kyle, Cody. This week we're here to talk about this lovely white wine. We're in the United States. We're in Oregon. More specifically, we're in the Willamette Valley, and we are in Kinsilla Vineyard, vinified in the Dundee Hills. This is the 2017 Tim Malone Kinsilla Vineyard Chardonnay, the first commercial release ever. Hmm. Yeah, so Tim, is, he's experimented a little bit with Chardonnay. He loves Chardonnay. Tim, first of all, buddy. Pal. Good dude. He's a man. Uh, makes some killer wine. He's hung out with us a couple times before. Uh, we're very happy to have his wines. In fact, he signed the door right over there. He did he indeed. Did. Yeah. Door signer. What did he write? He wrote, is it dry? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tim makes a little bit of reasoning. Too. Yeah, he does. Side note. <laughs> yep. Um, so as far as this wine goes, this is his first big release. Uh, he did most of this wine in one great big barrel, 700 liters. It's a big barrel. It is indeed. Um, he fermented that for uh, about 13 months. He doesn't inoculate with yeast at all. He just goes full native there. Um, so it takes its sweet time. You get a little bit of complexity from that. 14 months total in barrel on the leaves. So you get a little bit of complexity from that. Uh, and he bottled it pretty much right after that. So he's using just enough SO2, just enough sulfur to, to keep everything right where he wants it and not a drop more. That's awesome. Um, and less than 100 cases produced, right? I think just over 90 cases. Wow. And we got a solid third of that. Cool. So like that. thank you, Tim. Thank you, indeed. Uh, backstory on Tim, relatively local guy, mm -hmm. worked at Fat Cat, one of our favorite little things, <laughs> followed his dream, worked for Cameron, learned the craft, opened his own gig, and we've Crowley sold. Too. Yep, Crowley too, sorry. Very tight net family. And, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, we've done his Rieslings before, his mm -hmm. Pinots, now his Chardonnay. And, yeah, and well, spoiler alert, we have one coming just for us. Shh. But anyway. Thanks, Tim. Let's get into this wine, shall we? Indeed. Uh, so, Consilla Vineyard, first and foremost, organic, certified organic, uh, certified live sustainable, and dry farmed. So, no irrigation. Uh, member of the Deep Roots Coalition, Super Deep Roots, which also yep. a lot of winemakers feel makes a much more complex wine. Cool. Clear, pale straw? Crystal clear, yep. yep. Pale, pale straw, straw for sure. Very, very nice nose. Oh, that nose is so a pretty. A little bit of uh, lemon oil and almost like a chalky kind of mineral feel to it. The mineral is huge. Yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah, this is legit. I get a little apple, green apple on the nose. Yep. Definitely. Apple pear, mm -hmm. a little bit of that orchard fruit, and then just a little bit of that fresh cream kind mm. of. Yep. Fresh cream, golden apple. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful. This is really classy Chardonnay. Mm. Oh, the texture. There's a, yeah, there's a richness to it, a mouthfeel to it. It's silky smooth, but it's still light and delicate. Mm -hmm. That's freaking good. It's still it got that beautiful freshness. Yeah, wow. it's got, yeah. Wow, the kid killed it. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> nice job, Timmy. Mm -hmm. First try. Yeah. He's going to add a couple more barrels to his production next year. A couple more 500 liter barrels. So, Tim likes big barrels. Um, so, you can expect production to go up a little bit next year. But, uh, I mean, it's awesome. It's you know, so good. You mean from like. 90 measly cases, yeah. like 120 measly cases, yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah, big jump. Uh, food pairings? I think seafood. First and foremost, I, I go to scallops. For sure. Pan seared mm -hmm. diver scallops. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. a nice uh, slab of fresh cod, something like that. Sure. I like to do lobster. Even shellfish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like lobster. Oysters, clams. Or. Or. Supermarket sushi. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> pizza in a pizza. different form. That's my kind of pizza. Hence the chopsticks. <clears throat> so, I'm going with uh, salmon avocado with the brown rice. Okay. 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 That's not a bad choice. I'm going to lose it first. Mm. I, I love when we get that wine, that, those Chardonnays, because we taste so many Chardonnays. Mm. I love when we get those that just kind of reach out. Boop. Mm. And it's something special. Diamond and rough, you know, far yeah. between. Mm -hmm. 100%. This is simply exceptional. And probably underpriced, subsidized too. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Wow. We're going to get this to you guys under 30 bucks. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> 
That's a bargain. Could be, could be the best thirty dollars charge we sell. I think it is. You know, I can't say that, Mitch, <laughs> but I can't say what's better. Mm. Mm. There you go. Well, good job, Tim. Nice. Good Nailed to it, Tim. Man. First try. Out of the park. Thanks, Cheers. Tim. Thanks, Mitch, for the sushi. Mm. Lunchtime.